Hi friends, welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy, RRBJE Physics Classes. We have already completed Physics Theory Classes 1 to 6. And in the class 6, we have completed the concept of waves and sounds. So, first of all, watch that class 6. After that, you will get clear idea and then watch this previous bits class. Okay. Let us start the class. This is previous bits on waves and sounds. What is the first one? Sound waves in air are dash. Sound waves in air in air are nothing but longitudinal waves. Longitudinal waves. Second one. Waves on the surface of water are waves on the surface of water are they are nothing but transverse waves transverse waves next one longitudinal waves cannot travel through dash we already discussed that longitudinal waves are nothing but mechanical waves mechanical waves require medium for their propagation medium for their propagation so the longitudinal waves can travel through solids air and liquid but cannot travel through vacuum okay so the answer is d vacuum but the non mechanical waves are not are electromagnetic waves can travel through vacuum also can travel through this vacuum also but longitudinal waves are mechanical waves all the mechanical waves require the medium require medium or medium is nothing but anything that is solid or air or liquid the mechanical waves require any medium for their propagation so longitudinal waves cannot travel through vacuum and the next one wavelength of microwave rays it is very very important the wavelength of microwave rays is 10 power minus 3 meters to 10 power minus 2 meter. 10 power minus 3 meters to 10 power minus 2 meter. And next one, the audible sound frequency is, the audible sound frequency, we already discussed in, in the sound, audible sound, that is 20 hedges to 20,000 hedges. For in case of, Next one, frequency of infrasonic. Infra means less than. That is the frequency less than 20 hertz. Less than 20 hertz. But in case of the ultrasonic, ultra means high. That is frequency is greater than 20,000 hertz or greater than 20 kilo hertz. Okay. And the next question, eighth one. The sounds produced by bats. The bats produced ultrasonic. Ultrasonic. These ultrasonic cannot detect by man, by human. But these ultrasonics can be detected by some creatures. Example, dogs, bats. Okay. And these bats are not only detect the ultrasonic waves. They can generate the ultrasonic waves. And by generating these ultrasonic waves, they can travel. They can travel. Okay. And the next one, ninth question. The sounds produced by quartz crystals are magnetostriction process. The sounds produced by this magno, this quartz crystals and magnetostrictions are ultrasonic waves. Ultrasonic waves these ultrasonic waves can be generated by quartz crystals by using piezoelectric effect or magnetostriction or some other also there harmons generator harmons generator by using this harmons generator also we can generate these ultrasonic waves and the next one next 10th question to detect tumors in human body which waves are used to detect human uh, to detect tumors in human body that there are nothing but ultrasonic 
ultrasonic. We already discussed about this ultrasonic. They are used to detect tumors in human body and also used for cancer treatment. Cancer treatment are to observe the heart valve, valves of heart. And the next one, noise is measured in decibel. Noise is used measured in decibel. That is dBs. Okay. And 1 dB equal to 1 dB equal to 1 by 10th of del. 1 dB or 1 decibel equal to 1 by 10th of bell. Okay. And next question. The intensity of sound. 30th question. The intensity of sound is inversely proportional to. We already discussed the intensity of sound. I is proportional to the amplitude square. And it is inversely proportional to with the distance square. Amplitude square by distance square. So, the intensity of sound is inversely proportional to with d square. That is, answer is b. Okay. And next one, 14th question. The maximum intensity can bear without pain. The maximum intensity can bear without pain is 120 dB. 120 dB. And we can consider the sound is greater than 80 dB is noise. And we can bear up to 120 dB without any pain. And the 15th question, as frequency of sound increases, pitch is dash. We know that pitch depends on frequency. And as frequency increases, the pitch also increases. So, it is increases. Okay. As frequency of sound increases, pitch also increases. And the speed of sound is maximum in dash and max minimum in dash. We already discussed the speed of sound is maximum in solids. Maximum in solids and minimum in case of gases. That is example 8. Okay. So, this uh, order is solid, liquid, solid greater than liquid greater than gases. Okay. This is the speed of sound. And speed of sound unaffected change in dash. Speed of sound unaffected or unaffected change in dash. So, oh, we already discussed the speed of sound is constant for pressure. That is, it is independent with the pressure. So, pressure. Speed of sound unaffected with the change in pressure. It is uh, independent of pressure. And if temperature is increased by 1 degree centigrade, then speed of sound is dash. We know that as temperature increases, the speed of sound increases and if the temperature increases 1 degree centigrade then the speed of sound increases by 0 0.61 meter per second 0 0.61 meter per second okay and then next one next 19th question submerged objects can be located using dash the submerged objects can be located by using sonar. By using the technique is sonar. And the next one, 20th one. Dash is used for to detect and locate position of objects such as ships or air, aircraft. To locate the ships or aircraft, we use radar. We use radar and the next one a person can perceive how many beats per second that is 10 beats per second 10 beats per second and to detect the over speeding vehicle police uses dash effect police uses doppler effect in the theory class i discussed this doppler effect and Doppler effect of reflected dash waves that is short radio waves. 
short radio waves okay and when the distance between the source and the observer decreases the apparent frequency is dash i already discussed as the distance here he has given the distance is decreases as the distance decreases then the frequency is increases so here the apparent frequency is increases increases due to the doppler effect if the distance is increases then frequency is decreases okay and for accurate target bombing dash effect is used we know that the applications of doppler effect it is the application of doppler effect and by using the doppler effect we can accurate target bombing so it is doppler effect and 25th one Okay, 24th for accurate target bombing dash effect is used the thing nothing but doppler effect and coming to the 25th one when sound waves travel from air to water which is constant that is frequency is constant frequency is constant and that means the sound waves are uh, have constant frequency constant frequency for all mediums for all mediums that means the frequency of uh, sound waves is constant for solids liquids and gases here the sound travel from air to water that is gas to li liquid in this any case the frequency is constant the frequency is constant okay next question the type of wave or waves can be propagated through solid can be propagated through solids that is in case of solids and liquids they can transmit both longitudinal longitudinal and transverse both longitudinal and transverse waves so the type of waves can be propagated through solid or both longitudinal and transverse so answer is c both and the effect of multiple reflection is called the effect of multiple reflection is called reverberation reverberation okay and one more bit on this reverberation is uh, for dead the room the room for which this reverberation is zero is called dead room the room for which the reverberation is zero is called dead room and the next question 28 the waves in which all the particles vibrate perpendicular to the direction of propagation they are nothing but transverse wave it is the definition of the transverse wave in this transverse waves uh, the direction all the particles are if, if this is the direction of uh, propagation of wave all the particles are vibrate perpendicular but in case of longitudinal all if, if this is a direction of wave and all the particles are parallel to the direction of wave in case of transverse it is a perpendicular so answer is transverse and compressions and rarefactions are formed in case of longitudinal longitudinal in case of transverse there is a crests and throats are formed okay and which are electromagnetic waves which are electromagnetic waves they are nothing but gamma rays gamma rays are electromagnetic waves and the example of non electromagnetic waves are non electromagnetic waves are these cathode rays alpha gamma beta rays okay 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 friends i will upload the pdf of this uh, previous bits within two days in the description box okay